How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Remnant 2. Uh, so we are back here at the Ward 13. Um, now, this was all over the internet. Um, there is a way to get an early game SMG if you inspect the bottom of your flashlight. There is a chest in Founders Ford's office that um, you can use the this code on to open it up to get a key. So that's what we're going to do right now. Get this SMG, see what it's all about. It, um, they did this in the first game too, for those that don't know. There was a super early game SMG that you could get. Okay, so that's the key. So yeah, in the first game, you could get the SMG pretty early, and it could pretty much last you the entire game. It was pretty good. Uh, I was using it in my brief time with the, the first game. Um, but let's go see if we can grab this and see how it is. I do plan to buy some stuff while I'm here. Kind of stock up on things bandages and some consumables for uh, status effects, etc. And then we are going to head back out back to Yesha. Okay, so let's put that key. There we go. Huh. Not bad. There we go. Something else over there. How do you get that? I guess not that way. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So yeah, looking at it, rate of fire is a little less, it looks like. Yeah, damage is higher, but rate of fire is a little less. I do like the fact that the rate of fire on my sidearm is pretty... Pretty high. Let's try this out. That's not too bad. I feel like I feel like it would probably be useful for other classes. Um, yeah, I like to. Me personally, I like the rate of fire on mine. So. All right. So we are we are back at that other dungeon that we just grabbed the rest spot from a few episodes ago. So I did uh, grab some consumables and uh, things like that. I didn't upgrade any of my, my guns yet. Like I said, I am waiting to see what kind of other weapons we get. I do like these, but uh, I don't want to waste strap and materials doing that stuff right now. Still feel like it's pretty early. That's what do we have here? A little puzzle in the Cathedral of Omens? I guess so. Alright, so I have been pulling lever levers for a minute here, trying to see what works. Um, I'm assuming the you have to open all the doors here. So it's just a matter of taking some time and pulling these levers and see see what works and what doesn't. So it's obviously gonna take a minute. There's probably gonna be <laughs> probably gonna be some cut editing. Alright. So let's see. Pull this. Maybe again. I'm like writing down like what what combinations of I've used. I don't know if there's like an easier way to like figure out this puzzle, but <laughs> just kind of going down the list here. Be interesting to see what happens when we get these open. Oh. What happened? 
objective success. Oh, it opened that door over there. That was right. What do we get? It's a lot of work for <laughs> opening these doors, man. Jesus. Faith seed. I bet McCabe can do something with this. Oh, okay. So it's something, something for a mod or something. That's cool. Uh, two more doors here, or yeah, one more door. So let's see. Yeah, this one's still open. So it's that one over there. Okay. So let's see what kind of combinations we need for this one. This one. Sorry, get done breaking everything. Hold that. And again. And again. Yep. Yep. Another objective success. So is that? Yeah, opens that. Awesome. Get a couple chests here. more to this here. Maybe I have to keep turning them again or something? Let's see. Let's see what this relic was I got. I like how they're utilizing the relics almost like the the, uh, the wondrous uh, physical Flask from Elden Ring. Revive speed. Nice. That's cool. I'm inclined to think that there's more to this. So I'm pulling this some more. See what we can get out of it. There are some combinations I haven't done here, I think, so. Wondering what they do. Try that one more time. There's gotta be an easier way to, <laughs> to do this. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Easy way to figure out what combinations you need here. Four times, I think. Three. Ninety-eight, and it comes with a mod. 
That's crazy. Oh my god, dude. Look at the damage difference. This is a powerful arrow deals opens a portal. Holy shit. What? Bro, I got to check this thing out. Look at that. We need to go back to Ward 13. See if I can upgrade this at all. Check out these mods. See what we got going on. I'm excited to try this thing out. Seen another book like this before. Gotta gotta be some sort of uh, some sort of puzzle relation. Hmm. Okay. I think we're done here. All right, my cape. What do you got for us? You, you and your again. grumpy self. All right then. Astral burst fires a short-range burst, seven star fragments bouncing off walls. Yo, that's crazy. I'm tempted to get that. That sounds pretty nuts. That faith seed and luminites and crystal and the fargazer. Ah, oh, that's from that boss that we fought. The legion boss. Stack of madness lasts for five seconds. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like I spent a lot of my scrap on the consumables, so I don't have much scrap right now. Tempted to get this, but I might hold off. I mean that bow that we just got has a has a mod yeah, yeah. already inserted into it. So uh, what can I do for you? Let's see what this bow needs. Uh five iron, that's not bad. Two luminite. Still four fifty. So it's like basically half of what I got right now. See what this can thing can do. Oof. Okay. Let's try this this ability out. Uh, I bet Riggs can help me out. <laughs> I should stop by sometime. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Need to go test this out in the wild. Alright. Damn, Dark. Come on. Oh, here we go. Whoa! A one shot at that thing? Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Glad that's over. One shots them. I mean, obviously, like a big boy or something. That's not going to, but holy shit, that is awesome. And pick this, sir. Oh. Stay still. I mean, to get a good shot on you. Damn. Wow. I'm gonna have a blast with this thing, Jesus. Get a. Go down here and test out this uh, this ability the mod. Oh, what what is that pink thing? Oh, is that is that one of those Blood Moon Essence things? Here they come. Yes, it is. 
that there must be a blood moon right now. That's awesome. Ah, shit. I didn't hit anybody with that, because... They're all advancing forward. That sucks. Should have saved it for the big boy. Whoa! Oh god. Farming up some uh, more of those blood moon essence wisp thingies. Found another door over here. Another <coughs> section that I had not explored yet. So let's see what's in here. As you can see, I caught some root <coughs> rot too, unfortunately. It's pretty annoying because, like, you're trying to do stuff and he's, like, coughing. <coughs> But this should remove it. Right, so we're good there. We are at the lament, it looks like. There's gotta be more uh there's gotta be more sections in this world. This place is absolutely massive. try out this bow some more in here. I feel like this bow would be am amazing on the uh, the hunter class. The only bad thing about the ability is that uh, I need to save it for a big boy or like group of enemies and in my case the dog needs to be whoa Come on. what the fuck what is this uh, the ballista from demon souls <laughs> What's going on over here? So yeah, like I was saying, um, I feel like the dog needs to be distracting a big boy or a, good, a group of enemies so that they're stationary, and then you can pull out the uh, the mod, the ability. Oh. Going well. If this is Demon Souls, I'd be dead already. <laughs> oh, sucks. Lovely. Looks like they're shooting in groups. Three and three. One shooting one way and one shooting the other. So we gotta, yeah, do a little zigzag in here. There we go. All right, now where are we going? Try and get through here. Turned on my turned on my flashlight. Figured it might help. Couldn't figure out where to go. Another relic. Ammo reserves. traps, I guess, when you open that. Go 
back through here and just see if there's anything hidden. I feel like they would do that rushing through a section with like traps. You'd think they'd like hide something so you'd miss it. I guess not. Check out this relic now. Okay. Yeah. Three percent ammo reserves. Nice. Oh, what do we have here? A little puzzle. Certainly looks like that with the symbols above the bodies. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, that guy. That's like my shots here. That's the sorcerer. Oh god. Take him out before he resurrects everybody in the place. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh. Dog, dog took some damage there. Jesus. He's all good though. He heals up out of combat. At least that's over. Okay, what is down here now? Out of room. Thanks for the ammo, everybody. Well, it's like a symbol. Wonder if that has to do with the puzzle. I would bet money on it that it does. Pages here. Page two asserts, geez. Just trying to skim through this quick. I don't want to sit here and read it all. Last page here. All right. Okay, this is it. Bye. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's try the ability. Oh shit. It's melted everybody, that's awesome. Shit, I should have saved it for this dude. This ain't looking good. Ah Jesus. Ah, oh damn. Get me, dog. Get me. Thanks. Thank you. Need the girl, sir. Both of you do. 
Okay. Caught in a bad spot there. Love how the bow's one-shotting a lot of these basic bitches. Increase range of melee damage by 4% for 15 seconds. Ooh. Like that. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't trust that. But anyway, guys, I think we should call the episode here for now. Um, this uh, dungeon may be pretty extensive with the puzzle and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of editing on that last puzzle. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.